Species in the wild are regulated in many different ways, one of which is competition. Competition is an interaction between two species that negatively affect each other. These negative effects can decrease rates of growth, reproduction, or survival. Competition can be broken down into two categories, interspecific competition and intraspecific competition, where interspecific focuses on competition between different species and intraspecific is between members of the same species. Interspecific competition can range in degree of severity. Competitive exclusion is where one species outcompetes the other for available resources, which could lead to the extinction of the inferior species. Most species in competitive relationships are able to share essential resources, allowing for both species to persist, which is known as competitive coexistence. In order to find the rate at which competitive exclusion or competitive coexistence occur, the locta volterra competition model can be used to predict species outcomes in competitive relationships. To graphically represent this model, the population of species 1 can be on the x-axis and species 2 will be on the y-axis. The carrying capacity of each species will be plotted on their perspective axes. The alpha and beta are competitive coefficient constants that describe the effect of one species on the other. These values are measured experimentally and will therefore be given to determine what the outcome of the population will be after competitive exclusion. K1 over alpha will be plotted on the y-axis and a line from K1 alpha to K1 will be drawn. To determine N2, K2 over beta will be plotted on the x-axis and a line will be drawn from K2 over beta to N2. There are four different graphs that can occur from this. When the two lines cross, depending on the outcome of the graph, competitive exclusion may or may not occur. Competitive exclusion can occur when two lines cross and K2 and K1 lie outside of K1 over alpha and K2 over beta. But which species out will outcompete the other depends on the starting conditions. Another outcome of the Locta Volterra competition model is when isocline lines do not cross and competitive exclusion takes place. In this model, K2 and K2 over beta will lie outside of K1 and K1 over alpha, which will make species 2 outcompete species 1. If the populations lie outside the carrying capacity of species 2, then both species populations will de be decreasing because they are above both of their carrying capacities. If the populations lie in between species 1 and 2 carrying capacity, then species 2 population will increase and species 1 population will decrease. If the populations lie below species 1, then both populations will be increasing because the populations would be below both species carrying capacity. In the opposite situation, K1 and K1 over alpha will lie outside K2 and K2 over beta. In this case, species 1 will outcompete species 2. If the populations are above species 1 carrying capacity, then both species populations will decrease. If the populations lie in between the two species, species 1 will increase and species 2 population will decrease. If the populations lie below species 2 carrying capacity, then both populations will increase because it is below the carrying capacity of both species. The next outcome that comes from the Locta Volterra model represents coexistence between the two species. When looking at the model, coexistence occurs when the K1 over alpha and K2 over beta both lie on the outside of K1 and K2. Whenever the arrows are drawn towards the carrying capacities, no matter which way you try it, they will always point to the center where the two lines intersect. Most of the time, though, coexistence Existence only occurs in very specific situations, meaning that more than likely the two species will continue to outcompete with one another. Since competition has a negative effect on both species, it is important to prevent competitive exclusion so several species do not go extinct. There are several types of preventions for competitive exclusion, such as resource partitioning, disturbance, predation, and evolution. Resource partitioning is when several species use a limited resource so diversely that competition does not occur. Disturbance is when several actions prevent a specific population from growing to the point where limited resources occur. Predation has keystone predators that prevent exclusion by maintaining biodiversity and preying on the best competitor. Evolution allows several species to evolve in ways that can prevent them from having competition with others in the future. Although we try to limit the amount of competition, it is a vital part of our ecosystem. I hope this video has given you a better understanding of interspecific competition in the Locta Volterra model.